in this video we're going to deal with the problem that pops up with Revit when you rotate or create an odd shape viewport. Uh, if you create an odd shape viewport the standard PDF and other print drivers throw a fit. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happens behind the scenes but Revit is not happy and produces these bloated fat juicy files that you can't really do anything with. So what we need to run is software or a PDF driver that is optimized um, and can deal with the, the glitches behind the scenes. There's a couple of them that I've read that have that do this. Uh, one is called Nitro PDF and the other one is, is called Bluebeam. I haven't tested Bluebeam yet but the Nitro has reduced the file from about hmm, I don't know 50 megs down to about 1.3 megs optimized. So we're going to take a look. Uh, the first one I ran, I ran Nitro out the box um, and it came up at about 11 megs which is actually quite large for this file as you see on the screen it's not a lot to it uh, but being that the viewport is um, something's a little different about it it's causing Revit to uh, I don't know cough up a hairball and create these enormous PDF files so in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize um, the prints so they'll work for you guys now what I did I went out on the internet and I downloaded a program called Nitro uh, PDF. I've loaded it here. You can see Nitro. Now this program, I think, cost about $150. You'll have to look into that. But as of right now, it seems like either you can use Nitro, $150, or Bluebeam, which is about $250. Now Bluebeam has lots of good tools. I'm not so familiar about Nitro Pro, but for the most part, um, Bluebeam is kind of an industry standard. It has lots of uh, goodness behind the scenes. Now uh, this Nitro Pro does the job. Now you get a trial for about 30 days. So you guys can probably print out what you need this Thursday and then kind of move on and make some decisions at that point. So it's called Nitro, okay, Nitro, and I'm running what's called Nitro Pro. So let's try it out now. So I'll install the software just as per when you go out and download it, and then I go back to Revit. So here we are. Now it's time to print. So what I'm going to do is hit Control P. It opens up the print dialog box. Now to optimize Nitro Pro or Nitro PDF Creator, whatever you want to call it, um, what we're going to do is first set it current and then we're going to go to properties right here. Now in the properties box you'll see we have these lots of different settings. The key to making this happen is right here. See version? Uh, how the software writes out the file. It's kind of like writing an old AutoCAD file. You can push it down. So out the box it's set to 1.4. When it writes to this 1.4 format that's when the files even in with Nitro is about 11 megs. That's a big file. So the first thing I did, I jacked this up to 1.7, which is the, as far as this, the latest uh, option it has. So now it's going to push out a more optimized PDF. Another thing we did, I went down here and I set this to Office Ready Medium. Now, if you need to go smaller, you may be able to use Web Ready. But I ran Office Ready and I zoomed in on the prints once I uh, produced them, and they seem to look pretty good. So I think you'll be good with that. Uh, target folder, you choose where you want it to drop. Um, and pretty much that was the main two settings that I changed here. Now, the other thing we need to do is optimize the sheet size because they don't have the sheet size that's normally available. So if we go to pages, you'll see here they've got a series of them in here, but nowhere does it actually have the 30 by 42. So what we need to do is create our own. Now you see down here, I scroll down, I've got two of them. Uh, a little trick I learned back when is when I make one, I make one one way and make the other the other way because no matter what you do, chances are you're going to have it upside down or backwards or something. So I needed to make a custom sheet size. So down at the bottom here, I'm trying to remember where we went to, uh, I think it was user. Okay, we came in here and hit custom. Now at this time I hit add. So I hit add in here and I gave it a name. In this instance we'll call it CAD Tech. Uh, and then we'll give it a size. Let's call this one. This is going to be uh, 30 by 42. And then I'm going to say the width is okay. In this instance, 42. And this is going to be by uh, 30. So 30 by 42. And that's going to be my that one. I hit okay. And you see it says CAD Tech 30 by 42. And then I'm going to add another one. CAD Tech. And I'll call this uh, 42 by 30. And I'm going to try to remember what I did before. So the width of this is going to be 30 and this length height will be 42. Alright, so 
I'm not sure if I did them the, the, the right way there, but that's how we kind of set them up. So let's go ahead and check these. I may have the ADG one set up right. So let's go click on this one. I'm going to hit edit, and you'll see it's 42 by 30. Hit OK on that, and we'll click on this guy here, and we'll hit edit, and uh, 42 by 30. Let's see, 30 by 42. And then we'll click on this one. Edit uh, 30 by 42. Well, you can play with different numbers there and have variations in case you need to change them. So I hit OK on that. Now, so now it's optimizing the sheet. So I've set up a sheet size. I hit OK. So we look like we're looking good here. You can look at the other settings, but I didn't have to tinker with many more than that. Now I'm going to go to Setup here. And what I do is I choose uh, Nitro, right? Then I come down here and I'm going to choose Sheet Size. As I come down, you'll see in here somewhere we actually have ours. I'm going to scroll on. It's a big old list, right? And then there they are toward the bottom. So I'm going to pick, let's say, this one first. Now when I pick it, I'm going to start with Landscape. Hit OK on that. And we'll do a quick little, uh, we'll say yes. Hit OK on that. And if I want to, I'll call this Nitro. And we'll put, let's say, a, a 1. I think I have a 1, so I'll call it a 2. In case I want to make sure I use it in the future. Now I go back to my setup, and it's running on Nitro 2. That's the 1. It's got all this information. Let's do a quick preview. Um, we preview it. And typical. Didn't nail it the first time. So I'm going to go back to print. Notice there's three dots next to it. It brings us back to the dialog box. Now, go back to here. And this time, I'm just going to flip this to portrait. Hit OK. So now, using ADG 30 by 42 at the portrait setting, I hit Save so it remembers it as Nitro 2. Hit OK. And let's go now to preview. So now, it should fit on the sheet. And there we go. So that's looking good. Now, let's go ahead and hit Print. The final step is hit OK. Now, if you want to do multiple sheets, you can. With the size of these files, you may consider actually using uh, Keeping It Simple. Um, and I'm going to hit OK on that. Now, it comes up and it says Andrew SpongeBob because Andrew is actually, you know, who I'm helping out here. Andrew and our team here. And then I also have uh, SpongeBob happens to be his computer's name. Um, hit Save on that. And we'll go ahead and put a um, test behind it. We'll say this is the uh, Nitro test. We hit save. Now it's going to crank for a minute, and then it's going to once it asks for a save. So now it's actually cooking in the background. If we want to go check it out, I'll drop down the desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for the moment, and it's going to pop up in here once it's done. Here it comes, boom! So it's, it's baked, whatever you want to call it. And now when I zoom in, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. I hit zoom, and you'll see the line work looks pretty good. Um, at this at this setting so that was the office now if you wanted to try uh, turning it down to the web version of it it might actually get um, lighter but you can see there's a lot of line work in here from the architects that's actually um, you know making that file large so now let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll go ahead and close all this other stuff that's out this is your email it's coming to you real soon and I'm gonna close this save changes don't save all right, so here it is right here. Uh, I click on it, right click, and let's go to properties. And you'll notice here, uh, 1.3 meg. Uh, that is a lot smaller than what we were dealing with earlier, which was somewhere like 55 megs and, and higher, so uh, in causing the different applications to crash. So that should be an, um, a good one for you. Let's try it out. I'm going to right click. I'm going to open with maybe Adobe Reader once that looks in there. So it looks pretty good. Let's go full screen on this. And yeah, so uh, looks good. Let's go to 100% on here. Yeah, looking pretty decent. So go ahead and try that out. Seems like uh, Nitro may work for you guys. Um, again, it is a few dollars, but it may solve the problem that you're running into. Another option is uh, see if the architect's having a similar problem with this project and see what he's using. Uh, chances are if he is having problems, he's probably using Bluebeam. Because again, that's more of an industry standard, but it's a little bit more. So there you go. Uh, that is how we get these things to print. Um, Talk to you all soon. Thank you.